So let's check out a network trafficking monitoring tool called NTOP NG. What's up guys, it's Josh back with another video and today's tutorial will be on how to install and use NTOP NG on Ubuntu server. Now, NTOP NG is an open source network traffic monitoring tool that provides real-time network visibility and analytics. And in this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to install NTOP NG on Ubuntu server and how you can use it to monitor your network traffic. So let's get started. Before we move forward, I wanted to give a quick shout out to CIQ, the official partner of Rocky Linux. Rocky Linux is a Linux distribution that is intended to be a downstream complete binary compatible release using the Red Hat Enterprise Linux operating system source code. The project is led by Gregory Kurtzer, who was the founder of the CentOS project. So check out Rocky Linux at CIQ.co. So before I show you guys how to install it, I want to go to the website right fast, but this is ntop.org. And of course, I always have the link down in the description of the video. But as you can see, it says NTOP NG is a network trafficking traffic probe that provides 360 degree network visibility with this ability to gather traffic information from traffic mirrors, NetFlow exporters, SNMP devices, firewall logs, intrusion detection system. And the reason I wanted to cover this because of course it runs on a linux operating system you can set it up on a windows server but this will greatly help you if you have a business with multiple systems and you want to monitor them or let's say you have a couple systems in the cloud and you want to monitor the network traffic across a couple of them well this tool can actually do that but in top ng has been written in a portable way in order to virtually run on every unix platform including linux and free as free bsd as well as mac os and on windows as well now in top ng yes it's all lowercase provides an intuitive encrypted web user interface for the exploration of real-time and historical traffic information so if you guys want to check out the main features uh this basically breaks down pretty much everything so go over to the website uh here or the tech specs so platforms is available on all platforms it has a web gui uh, which i'll show you guys once we get it installed and just a little bit more information on the different versions so they do have a community version a pro version and an enterprise version and like i said it's best to use this if if you have a business of multiple servers you can monitor all of them and here are some of the use cases uh down here but let's go down and get over to my ubuntu server that i already have set up in a virtual machine so i can show you guys how to get this thing installed and then we can play around with it once we got it installed i can show you how to, how to connect to it configure it and all that good stuff all right, so I'm connected to my Ubuntu 22.04 server via SSH. And the first thing you wanna do is update your system. So all you have to do is run sudo apps updates and press enter. That'll go through and refresh your package list. And I'll also check to see if you have any updates, but we have uh, three updates, but we're gonna ignore them. I'm gonna go down and install in top. So let's uh, type sudo apt install and then in top ng and if i didn't say this in the beginning uh in top ng is available within the ubuntu repository the main ubuntu repository so all you have to do is type in the package name we don't have to add any ppas we don't have to modify our system anyway uh we could just download it directly from ubuntu's repository so i'll be back when this actually finishes all right, so now that the installation is complete, the first thing you wanna do is configure your NTOP NG server. And it's very simple to do that. The first thing we need is the interface name. So we can use the IP command to get that. So IP and then A. And what we're looking for is the interface name, which is right here. So that is our network interface name. And we need to put that into our configuration file. So NTOP ng 
can know what port to monitor. Now let's go down and edit our configuration file. So all we have to do is type sudo. And the reason we have to type sudo because this configuration file is located under the Etsy directory. And this directory is owned by Roots and that's a security feature by and that's a security feature that's built into the operating system. Basically, anything you install on here, it installs the configuration files most of the time under the Etsy directory. And so this is where you make all your configurations for any application on the server. So all we have to do is look for that in top um, ng dot config and what I did was tab it out because I knew it was in the Etsy directory. A lot of times, uh, that's that's one other thing I wanted to point out. A lot of times most applications they'll have their own folder within the etsy directory but in top ng doesn't it just puts it right into the etsy directory so we're good to go now let's go down and uh open up this file and show you guys how to configure it it's very simple all we're doing is looking for one spot and what we have to do is uncomment it out uh, and we're looking for the ethos spot and this is for our cat5 connection plug-in you know port we need to have that interface name you know put in here and so all we have to do is back off uh etho zero and then we can paste in our interface name and that's basically what we wanted to monitor and you make sure you leave that uh dash i because that's for interface that's essentially what it means interface equals that interface and so let's go down and save this right fast uh, press enter and that will save that configuration change that we made to that configuration file all right and now the next thing we need to do is start the in top ng service uh, and mainly all we have to do is write sudo uh, service and then in top ng start and press enter and it'll start our service for us and we can run let's see sudo service uh in top ng status and press enter and it'll show us the status of it right fast and as you can see it's running and it's enabled so every time we reboot the server it'll it'll start that service for us now let's go down and quit that right fast and we should be able to access our in top ng web interface now one other thing i want to point out before we go over to the interface is you want to make sure if you're using a firewall that you open up the ports uh for this website and it uses port 3000 and i don't believe i'm using the firewall on this server but let's check right back so sudo ufw and then let's check the status of it and just see okay so the firewall is turned off on this server now let's hop over to my browser and i can show you guys how to get everything set up on in top ng web's interface all right so we got our browser up let's go down and open up another tab and what you want to do is type in the ip address and actually let's go back to my terminal right fast just show you guys where to get it from when we ran that ip uh space a command to get our interface name well that also gives us the ip address so you can just copy it from here and then like i said the port for it is 3000 so let's go back to our web browser uh paste that ip address in and then let's put the colon at the end of it and then let's type in the port of 3000 and there we go so we are at in top ng now once you get here the default is admin so and then the admin and that'll allow you to log into it and let's go down and close that i don't want it to save anything but it wants you to change the password upon your first login so you want to rush log into this thing change the password to something more secure because admin obviously is not secure uh and i remember you doing this when i first set up my in top server a while back so let's type in two passwords right fast and confirm that password and then you want to select your language if it's different from english i'm gonna use the default let's hit change password there we go okay cool so now that we logged into it uh you'll see right off the back this is the dashboard and it's refreshing every five seconds but this is basically the top top flow talker to this system and you can uh select different you know 
ways of looking at the information but you got your host uh, you got your ports uh, and you also have the applications that are running on here as well and as you can see one of the biggest ones is Intop as well as HTTP which I'm sure this application is using HTTP to push this out because you need a web server for it <clears throat> now up here at the top I thought was super cool they show local host uh, so you can go in and look at all the local hosts on the network uh, boom and then also you can check out the alerts and right now there is alert for this server uh, not sure where that's coming from or what that's for and also I let this thing you know sit for a while uh, so I can gather some more information it says this flow flow has been purged from memory and that's one cool that's one thing about this system it'll purge information over time due to the memory limitations on the system that you're using so but anyway that's essentially an alert in there us also there's these are some more alerts and then also let's click on devices i just wanted to show you guys uh the devices but and i don't care if you guys see the mac addresses uh i'm gonna block it off i think most of this stuff is fake or virtualized but some of it's not so i'll probably blur it out but it's basically showing the mac addresses on my network and then let's click on uh let's see what this is this is the active flows so you can check that out as well that gives you a lot of information you know for the system and things that are talking on the network <clears throat> and then one other thing i wanted to show you guys was the network map you can kind of see uh the flows between the server local hosts as well I'm not sure why it's not showing much data here right now but i know on my personal one it kind of shows a lot more but like i said this is an awesome tool if you go down here to the help uh it gives you the about so this is the current version which is a 5.2 or whatever that's the current version right there uh in the platform debian which is pretty much the same thing you find to debian it's all the same and we go back to uh about and it also looks a little weird you know what i'm saying on my system but typically doesn't look like that because I don't use chromium and maybe that's why but you got telemetry you can turn off telemetry if you need to um, this will take you to their blog news user guide so if you need a little bit more help you can go to that user guide uh, reported issues suggest features uh, you can also develop they they do have some plugins you can add to this thing so that's it you know for this tutorial on how to install and use Intop NG on Ubuntu server. And like I said, Intop NG is a powerful tool for monitoring network traffic and it can help you identify potential issues and optimize your network performance. If you have any questions, go down and leave comments down in the comments below. Go down and like, share, and subscribe to the channel. It, there'll be more videos like this to come. But I hope you guys have a wonderful day and of course, keep it techy.